Yo, relax and take notes in the most skin. Unbutton your overcoats and start coasting to the most unnoticed. Um, since I make my own beats, um, sometimes the, the process is a little different than it is for an artist who doesn't like for someone who could select beats from this this producer that producer um it's different man like like you kind of know you intimately know the music that you're that you're laying your vocals on and sometimes that's a good thing um sometimes though like you just i just heard it too many times man and and i kind of have to like step back from it for a while maybe maybe a day um, maybe two weeks, maybe years, and like a lot of the projects. I mean, a lot of the, a lot of the songs on my previous album, Dreamers Block, those beats were like six years old, um, and that I guess that that says a lot about my style um, and like the type of hip hop that I'm into. Like I made six six years ago, and people are still knocking it now, you know. Um, I'm most in the zone. It, I'm most in the zone when I least expect it. Like the creative, the way my ideas come to me, it just sometimes they just come to me. You know, um, I try not to force it too much. Um, and, and but when it does come to me, it's just like, all right, everything else needs to shut out. Like I just need to shut out everything else out and just focus on this thing, so I could, I guess, receive it um, accurately. And then once once I'm in that zone, it's, it's, it's the best feeling, man. And, and then I, I kind of come out of it and look back at, at like what I created, and almost it's, I could almost do it objectively and be like, I made that. That's crazy, you know. Um, but yeah, my my creative process, I, I just sit down and let it flow, pretty much. Um, one of my favorite MCs was always Nas, like from the beginning. Just uh, his ability to tell a story, like bring a story to life, um, and just like put an image in your head, like before you even see the music video, you know. Um, and that's that's something that I I aim to do. That's that's anytime I see like a visual element in music, it just makes me just love it so much more. Um, so that's that's kind of what I set out to do with music as well. Hmm. Kendrick Lamar. Like I, I respect Kendrick Lamar a lot for his his content and his ability to entertain as well as educate at the same time, but not without making it corny. You know, um, Jay Electronica is also one of my one of my favorites. Um, just the way he could bring things to life, and he's not afraid to use poetry. He's not afraid to um, tackle certain certain topics. Because um, I, I, I mean, that's what hip hop was originally, anyway. You know, like it's like a platform to to speak. It's a platform. It's a voice for the people, um, and he he just keeps that type of hip hop alive, and I respect it. Hmm. Um, well, first and foremost, Dilla, of course. Um, in my head, that's the greatest beat maker of all time. Um, and he had like a huge influence on me. Um, had a huge influence on hip hop. Had a huge influence on music in general. Um, so yeah, definitely Dilla. Andre 3000 is another one uh, who, who kind of has that approach, um, and he also has a storytelling aspect too, which I which I really like. Um, yeah, man, El Zai, El Zai. I would love to to work with El Zai. Um, his flow is just like so tricky and just in and out. Um, uh, it's just exciting to listen to. Uh, he's one of my favorites. James Brown, um, just because he has such an influence on hip hop anyway. So just imagine that, like a a live collabo, like a mashup of of James Brown and, and actual actual hip hop artists, and not a sample. 
Um, that would be super cool, I think. Music from the beginning of time has been a vehicle for culture. You know, um, I think in the more recent times, it's 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 been leaning a little more to entertainment, which is also um, kind of a pulse of, of culture as well. Um, but hip hop, hip hop is the music of the youth. You know, it, it always has been. I feel it always will be. Um, um, I definitely feel that the type of hip hop that um, I guess the majors typically expose you to um, kind of leans toward the specific stereotype. Um, it probably, um, as they entertain with with this, it, it's also kind of stroking the fear. That, that some people have um, for things that they don't know about. So it's, it's, it's almost like a creating a villain and just like maintaining this character over decades. Um, like since, I would say since, um, since gangster rap um, came into popularity. Um, I often think about how things were before that. I mean, there was also, there was always that element in hip hop, you know, but there was a there was a moment where the overlying sentiment was just this this positive this positive vibe. You know, it was almost like it was almost like a hippie movement in in hip hop, you know? Um, and then the gangster rap era came along and, and that was <clears throat> that was marketable in, in the way that an action movie is marketable. Um,